over two weeks ago, I was watching the Giddy Gang show on Friday afternoon, as I often do. And while I was watching it, my good buddy Jim Burt sent me a message there in the comment section. He says, hey Dave, I've got a, uh, an idea I want to run past you a little later. And I thought, well this should be interesting. So, uh, a few hours later, I got a Facebook message from Jim and he says, hey, what would you think of making a guitar body shaped like a panda? for, you know, to give to Ben Giddy Baker. You know, they've got their 100th episode of the Giddy Gang Show coming up soon, and I thought, hmm, that's a really cool idea. So I told Jim, I said, well, let me, let me look around, let me think about it, and let's see what I can come up with. So here's what I came up with. I call this the Panda Caster. It is a solid body pretty much solid body made from southern yellow pine uh, cut into the shape of a panda uh, it's got a little pocket milled out back here uh, for all the electronics uh, it's got a cb giddy three string delta bucker humbucker right here with volume and tone control this is actually one of their uh, harness kits which are really fantastic because you don't have to do any soldering all comes ready with the volume tone and the, the jack already already soldered up. Uh, this also has a three string hardtail bridge uh, that's from CB Giddy and in case you're wondering no it didn't come white it, it came black I used one of the black ones I had and uh, just kind of had to take it all apart and be careful not to lose those little set screws and the springs and, and just hit it with a little paint. Also hit this uh, humbucker here with a little paint just to uh, keep in theme with the panda here. The neck is a pretty nice piece of oak that I had. Uh, the fretboard is made from some pallet wood, which I'm not exactly sure, but it looks like it's oak. It's uh, just got some real nice figure to it. And of course, I used my laser to put some panda fret markers on it to keep with uh, the panda theme. It has uh, also has panda caster uh, lasered onto the headstock which is kind of a stratty uh, style headstock. Got uh, some black uh, sealed tuners, black strap buttons, and this is a pretty cool little guitar. Uh, I've got some Ernie Ball strings. I can't remember the exact Gauge, I think it was 36, 26, 17, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, nickel strings, uh, and it's tuned to G D G, which is how I usually tune them. But sounds pretty good plugged in. Uh, I'm not much of a player, but uh, picked around on some. Sounds pretty good. And I'm going to be sending this off to uh, the Giddy Gang, uh, in particular, uh, in particular uh, Ben Giddy Baker. So by the time you see this video, it will, you know, this video won't be released until after I've sent it and he's had a chance to get it. So, so anyway, if you want to see how I did this, I didn't shoot a lot of video, but I did. Uh, I think I shot one or two little short videos with my phone, but I did take a lot of pictures along the way showing the different steps. So if you want to see how I did that, stick around because they're coming up now. Here's my southern yellow pine blank on the CNC, getting ready to start cutting out this panda shape. And the Gatton uh, CNC makes pretty quick work of it. And this is how it looks right after it comes off the CNC. I also use my CNC to kind of cut this stratty style uh, headstock. And then I took it out to my shop and used my laser to uh, put the Panda Caster logo on there. Here is a shot of the fretboard where you can see I used my laser to make the panda fret markers. And then it's off again to the CNC to uh, mail the neck pocket. And then once the neck pocket was all fitted nice and snug, it was time to start painting. Here's a shot of the back compartment where all the electronics is going to go. And here is where I had to take apart the uh, hardtail bridge and put some white paint on it as well as the pickup. 
And then, of course, once the paint was done, uh, several coats of lacquer. Uh, I had to mask off the neck pocket. And here it is after I've lacquered the neck. I'm gluing in the, uh, the neck to the body. And then I'm installing the black sealed tuners in this shot. And here I've installed the humbucker pickup as well as the hardtail bridge and with the you know volume and tone control. And here's a shot of the back compartment where I'm tidying up some wires. And there's the shot with the uh, back panel uh, covered up. And there we go. There's the, uh, I got the strings on, ready to tune it up and start trying it out. Okay, so that's how I made the Panda Caster. And Ben, if you're watching this video, I hope you enjoy this. I think it, uh, I think it's going to play pretty good. Like I said, I'm not a player, but I know you can uh, pick a mean tune. So hopefully you'll enjoy this and get some use out of it. And I just want to say thanks for uh, the 100 episodes of the Giddy Gang Show. I always enjoy those. And also just thank you in general for everything that you do for the CBG community. Uh, it's very much appreciated. Um, I guess that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please think about hitting the subscribe button. And if you do, click that little bell so you'll get notifications whenever I have a new video coming out. And I guess that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching.